Fantasy Bird, welcome back to Mario Kart Wii. Today, we are hopping back into the last two cups of 150cc, the last two retro cups as well. Let's get into it right here. I'm sure it's gonna be difficult. Things have been getting more and more challenging, but we'll have two more cups to tackle as yet another character right over this way. We have right over here, Koopa Troopa. He's ready to go. So Koopa Troopa has a nice blue and green coloring for all of his carts. We're gonna start with the standard cart S and get into our first cup here right over this way. It is the Leaf Cup with Desert Hills, Bowser Castle 3, DK's Jungle Parkway, and Mario Circuit. All right, so DS Desert Hills is our first race here. I hope it goes well. And the last time we were here, we were riding a bike, so it was a little bit different, but we were able to speed through this one pretty well. But the difficulty just been jumping up higher and higher and higher. So we'll have to wait and see how it goes. All right, got a good start, but we run in the people that definitely can throw us to the side. We're playing as yet another lightweight character. I've been sort of getting them all out of the way. Ooh, we have this golden mushroom, which can be used for a super useful shortcut right there. Definitely a good one to get down on this track. And I can just do a big jump over that way, get the bananas out, and pick up another item. Now let's get to drifting. Now that we have this lead, I'm just doing what I can to keep it. Because if I could win these cups without any disasters striking, that'd be great. We need at least a star ranking on everything. So that's a lot of work ahead of us. And the fireballs getting shot out by the sun. Pretty intense. Oh no, I drifted a little too wide there. I did not mean to throw that banana. We are still in the lead. Probably not for too much longer because I know they're gonna be throwing items sooner or later. Ooh, come on. Good drift right there. And as we're getting up on this, be sure to do a trick as well. There we go. That was pretty good. Oh no. Cut that turn. Not at the best angle. The POW block coming in. So just might as well throw out my bananas and stuff. But it's crazy that we're at the end of 150 already, technically. I mean, obviously, the route today, we'll be getting there. But two more cups to go. I feel like it's just gone by so, so fast. Which makes sense. I feel like as you get farther into a Mario Kart game, the faster it ends up going as we're in the last lap because the carts are moving faster, you know? So the tracks get through faster. It just becomes technically a shorter game. Not getting hit by that one, sorry. But of course, there's still more to the game to enjoy after 150. We'll be seeing that soon enough. But right now, I just gotta focus on getting through all this. Nice, okay. Go over here, do a big trick. Get the banana out, get through this way, and keep it moving. Okay, we're doing pretty well. Put a banana down like that, grab this one. Ooh. And it looks like we got a super solid win here. A little bit of a lead towards the end of it. Our first one with Koopa Troopa. <laughs> and he's so excited to do the little flips in the car. I like it. So there we go, 15 points right there, and we're moving to the next one. And it's gonna be Bowser Castle 3. A GBA classic track. We'll definitely wanna try to zoom through this as well as we can. All right, here we go. And boom, really great start. Oh no, I say that and then I'm getting pushed around by all the big guys, Dry Bowser, Donkey Kong. Pretty scary. Oh no, I hear them cashing up behind me. Not good. Oh no, 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 okay. Didn't hit the thwomp there. I thought that would be a big issue, but it wasn't. Let's grab another item. I love all of Koopa Troopa's different moves though. Looks really cool. Get out of here, Waluigi. <laughs> Not dealing with that, that is for sure. You get your bullet bill out of here. I'm not even gonna take the uh, the jump because I feel like it's just better to drift sometimes. They're gonna try to hit me with that, but I got a Koopa shell and I can just grab another one. Really good stuff so far. We're cruising through this track. Of course, Dry Bowser is gonna wanna try to catch up to us. I guess it's technically his home track, yeah? This is a great place to throw down a Koopa shell, as you can see. And who's better equipped to throw them than Koopa Troopa himself? Okay, drifting through here. Got it. 
and then, ooh, got the red drift boost. And I should be able to get it again there. Awesome. Got all the jumps to get through. I need to be careful of all the fireballs that can launch up. But we make it through. Building up quite the lead this time. Yeah, I think it's better just to drift through that than it is to take the jump. That felt faster to me than when we normally jump through it. Sometimes just taking really high air, air jumps like just don't really work too well in this game. When it's a little jump that doesn't actually give us a bunch of air time and we can do a quick trick off of it, that seems worth it. But when we have to fly away up, it just seems to eat up more time than it earns us. Okay, I threw that red shell. Who knows who it'll actually reach, but Dry Bowser is catching up to me here by a lot. There it is, <laughs> blue shell. I was waiting for something like that to happen. We will get passed up immediately after. Quite a lot of competition because of that. Really trying to get to us here, not good. Has me a bit worried, but we will just try to zoom through this. I get a mushroom, which isn't so bad, but Oh no, I don't even get to use it. Luckily I didn't fall into the lava though, so can I really complain we're in second place? It's, I think, Daisy right in front of us. I'm gonna slipstream boost right past you. You know what, this time I'll try it. Yeah, I don't know. And then the angle for the turn's a little weird. Maybe it's better, maybe it's not. Could just be overthinking. It didn't hit Daisy with that one. Okay, but I hit somebody. Okay, ready, we're gonna drift through here to grab another item. And right when we're on this little straightaway, the best place to throw back some stuff. And then right here, I think we did hit Daisy with it again. So there we go, another really solid first place finish for Koopa here in the Bowser's Castle 3. Nice, so 15 more points for the score. Looking good. Next up, we have DK's Jungle Parkway. We know this can be a tough track for sure. But I think we can keep up, you know, two first place in a row so far. We got a great start to you. Drifting through as much as possible. I'm going to put this question block down somewhere. Just right there. Let's see if that actually, I think it hit Yoshi. Sounded like it, maybe not. Big jump off of this, then back into another drift. Ah, uh, don't get an item there. Didn't really change my turn too much. Whoa, watch it. <laughs> Come on, ah! <laughs> I tried so hard to avoid that. Because it gets so scary once the crowd behind us catches up to us as a, a smaller weight character. Because I know we're just gonna get shoved off to the side, maybe even fall off the track and fall even farther behind. Ew, I don't want this. The only benefit to it is that you get like a higher acceleration, but obviously you'll lose all of that once it gets shrunken down. Okay, lots of crazy stuff going on here. Not really the placement I wanna be for the second lap. So let's grab an item and see what I got. Another? No way. And I'm getting hit by stuff. Yoshi, come here. Gotcha. All right, use him off, try to hit somebody with, it went away because you did a jump? That's not fair. I should have held on to it then. Good to know that though. I guess any kind of launcher like that might clear it out. Ooh, let me steal that mushroom. That was pretty cool. Gives me a little bit of a speed boost to catch up to these three in front of me. Okay, I get a bob on right uh, here. Come on, come on. Oh, not quite, but almost. Oh, that was not good. All right, you know what, throw some back and then maybe do that, that might hit him. Ooh, that was so close to hitting him. I can't believe it didn't. It. We're heading into the last lap with Daisy and Dry Bowser really trying to take the win here. I refuse to let it happen. Another Bob, I'm getting a lot of weird items this race. They're not bad items necessarily, but just ones I usually don't see too often, Bob bombs and lightning clouds. Two lightning clouds in one race I definitely have not experienced until now, so. They are really head to head against each other at the moment. I wanna be sort of in this mix up. Okay, triple mushroom is really good. He's gonna ride right into that item. That was a little peculiar, but 
I will take whatever opportunity I get. If I can just mushroom through all this stuff and not run into a tree, that would be great. I guess I should have saved one of those for this last major turn, but it's pretty far up there, so it'd be hard to reason to do that sometime. But if we uh, were to have used it right here, that probably would have been a huge advantage, but none of the other racers are gonna do that either. So I think it's fine. We put that banana down and we get our third win in a row with Koopa. He's storming through these tracks like nobody's business. That is really great stuff. There's one more course left for this cup, so let's get it done. So it's Mario Circuit time. Very fun course, I'm definitely down to do it. Everything has like an expression in this one, like the trees, the clouds, they, they all have eyes and mouths and noses. It's sort of creepy if you think about it too much, but it's really cute if you don't. So, not the worst start. A lot of the heavier characters, again? All right, yeah, you take it. I'm gonna zoom past this way. Take the first place for now. Don't hit me with it, don't hit me with it. See you, Luigi. And boom, zapped. See, whatever extra acceleration you got, it just goes away. Well, I get a mushroom here for being in second place. I wanna be very selective about exactly where I use it. So I feel like there's probably a good corner cut we can get out of this. Right, maybe? Whoa, jumping right over that boom, but that was actually a really good path for that. They're trying to throw the, the uh, fake question blocks on me. I don't know, maybe there isn't. I definitely need some items to protect me because I knew it, I could feel it. I could feel the static electricity building up and it zapped us. Uh -huh. All right, yeah, I guess just cutting this corner with the chain chomp is the best we could have done with it. Whatever, who needs items? I'm one of this anyways. Yeah, it is pretty cool. You know, we're playing as Koopa Troopa here. It's always fun when you get to play as Mario enemies in these kind of games, in my opinion. Mostly we've been playing as all the good guys so far. Wario and Waluigi have been the most devious characters that we've played, and Bowser, of course. But, uh, you know, one can play as more of the obscure ones, like Koopa Troopa, or, you know, I know in other Mario Kart games we have, like, Lakitu. Never Goomba, though. I guess because he doesn't have arms or hands, but. <laughs> You know, there's plenty of different characters like that end up popping up in the Mario Kart games, and that's always a fun concept. Because obviously in a normal Mario adventure, you'd never have the chance to play them. You're too busy beating them all up. <laughs> Unless, you know, it's like a specific thing like Mario Odyssey where you can turn into them. Or I guess even in Wonder now, you have a Goomba power up through one of the Wonder Seeds. Okay, we're drifting through here. Doing pretty well. Got it. Uh. That's not so good. Throwing that out, maybe it'll hit somebody. But it looks like we're in a good enough position just to go through the finish line right here and get our fourth win in a row. What a great cup this turned out to be. 60 points in total is wonderful. So there we go. Looks like we'll be finishing this one in style. Our second to last cup here in 150cc was pretty intense but also a really solid showcase of victories. Daisy and Dry Bowser really trying to beat me quite a few times there, but just couldn't quite make it happen. We're always at the right place at the right time, it seems, which is in the front of the, of the whole racetrack. All right, so let's see. Our little winning podium for Koopa Troopa here. We've got all sorts of fancy moves hopping in and out of the shell. All right, very, very cool. We got first place in the Leaf Cup, giving us the big golden trophy and two beautiful stars. And congratulations, you can now play the 150cc Lightning Cup. And that's not all, congratulations, you've unlocked a medium cart, the Day Tripper, for winning the Leaf Cup on 150cc. Nice. And speaking of new cards, I definitely want to try a new one this time because, you know, I'm always trying to check out at least one new cart per um, run through that we got here with each character. So let's do 150cc again, our final 150 cup. What do we want to race it as? We have either the bullet bike, I don't think I've tried. We have the mini beast or the cheap charger. I think we go with the cheap charger. It's really cute. It's a fun one for sure. Let's give it a try. So with the cheap charger, I wanna switch over to the Lightning Cup and take on Mario Circuit 3, Peach Gardens, DK Mountain, and Bowser's Castle. 
So Mario Circuit 3 is an all-time classic. I've raced it so many times that I hope we don't have too much of an issue this time around. Guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, we got this cheap charger. We're off to a solid start. Well, the flames pop out of the, like the tail fin there. That's so cool. Whoa, I love this one. Oh no, that's not so good though. <laughs> okay, okay, you guys catch up. All right, because I gotta catch up to you. I missed my item there, which is very unfortunate, because that could have been a mushroom or something. But I can get one right here. I'm gonna get back to drifting. I get triple mushroom, so I'm going to cut that corner. This one, that is a great shortcut to take, then right into this speed boost, and then I get the red drift. Really, really good as we start lap two. Now I got a green shell to protect me, so as long as I can keep the drifts coming, we might just be fine. Lots of speed there. I know this turn is pretty tight. We got it. Okay, so far so good. A red shell is not gonna stop me. We make sure we hit the next item though, for sure, because I don't have any now. But we're still pretty firmly in the lead as we start the third lap. Come on now. Got it. I'm gonna put this banana out if I need to, but for right now we're just holding it out there. Okay, I missed the items there somehow. I don't know how I managed to do that. Whoa, not hitting me with that, sorry. Blue Shell coming in, slow down a little bit so that it maybe hits the competition to some degree. We hit Princess Peach, but not everybody else. If I can snag that mushroom, oh, I wish I could have gotten that other one too. It's okay, it's okay, because if I drift really well right here, I might be able to at least take it, yeah! Whoa! That was so cool! I don't even know how we did that, but we win the race just barely, fractions of a second ahead of Baby Mario. That was amazing! Very, very lucky for us. We get that win. We're moving on to the next one. All right, race number two for the Lightning Cup is going to be Peach Gardens. I don't know why she just has a bunch of chain chomps running around her garden, by the way. Or they, is it just sort of they got let loose and then we had the race scheduled and it's like, ah, oh, I guess we might as well leave them. Or maybe it's just, you know, free roam chain chomps. It does something nice for the flowers, who knows? All right, so, oh, I got the mushroom. Definitely using it for the super convenient corner cut. Then, oh no. This is not so convenient. <laughs> I thought I could make my way around it. Didn't quite work that way. It's fine. I just want to grab this. All right, whoa, watch it. And then mushroom boost through here. That's pretty good. We're in first place now. Ow. All right, what do I want to do here? I got the banana out. pretty far behind me. Oh no, for good reason. <laughs> they were prepared for the blue shell, it seems. That's okay, we're not too far behind. Hey, hold on, that's not very nice. Yikes, so I'm shrunken down right at the beginning of this second lap. Maybe I can get some items to help me catch up. Let's see, I get a mushroom. Guess what I'm using it for? <laughs> Same exact spot as last time. Okay, now I start drifting much better. Liking the look of that. Watch out for the chain chomp, but I can drift in between all of these giant bushes, and we're fine. Uh-oh, uh -oh. this turn not so good, but I was able to drift through. I guess it was more the boost from the drift that helped me get through that part. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, let's get a mini one. Oh no, okay, just a red shell. I can handle that. For a second, I thought it was a blue shell again. Come on, come on. Got it. Our final lap coming in. I think we have it handled. This is the only time I'm going through this without the mushroom. It's fine though. Okay. Yeah, this time I definitely got the drift figured out. Let's 
chain chomps a little scary, but I maneuvered away from you. Getting a lot of good drifts out of that one. I need to go really wide here, but if I do, boom, good drift for us. I'll go through, I guess, this way. Throw it all my bananas. <laughs> there we go. That luckily hits everybody, so it's not too big of a deal. Drifting through this last corner, we're really close to getting it, so hopefully disaster doesn't strike us. Come on. We got it. All right, two for two when it comes to tracks here in the Lightning Cup. That's what we like to see. All right, so 30 points in total. We need to get 30 more in these next few races. So DK Mountain is definitely gonna shake things up. There's so many points on this track where disaster can strike, either if you're going down the, the volcano or the rickety bridge or, I mean, that's most of the track. <laughs> but you get what I mean. It's just, it's a scary one for sure. All right, here we go. I get the mushroom, might as well use that right away. Steal the lead a little bit. And we're boosting all the way up. I love how the cheap, cheap little wings, they flap around like we're actually flying. So cute. Very cool cart for sure. I'm going to try to drift right down this way. Not so bad. Get into another drift right here. I can hear that somebody has the Mega Mushroom power up behind us. Whoa, be careful, be careful. Got it, oh no. Pal block coming in. Let's keep it moving. We got Princess Peach behind us <laughs> now. Now she's knocked back a little bit, so that's good. I thought I could do a trick off the bouncing bridge, but I guess not. So everybody's catching up to us a little bit, but it's okay. Lap two now. Okay, watch it. Gonna hold out the banana and really try to jerk through this one. Not too far behind baby Mario here. There's a chance we can catch that. All right, just focusing on these jumps for now. Okay, I thought I could land on that one. Couldn't quite make it happen. I'm gonna put that out so that I can get more bananas. Oh no. Crazy turn here as I try to dodge all the rolling boulders. Can I make it happen? Just barely. Ooh, scary. Oh no. I saw that banana a moment too late. Okay, definitely try to litter the entrance, and baby Mario, no problem, just dodges all of it. But some people are definitely running into it, so even if they keep some of the other parts of the crowd at bay, that's still good. Baby Mario giving us quite the competition, though. I know he's gonna try to put that banana right in front of me, so I'm trying not to stay directly behind him. Come on. We are just right next to each other. Oh, but you got me with it, darn. I'm gonna catch up though. Only a matter of time. Are you ready? I got it. And I drift through here a little bit. Okay, very good, very good. This one's a crazy turn to make with all the boulders everywhere. That was really good. Come on, we're in front of them for now. But can we keep it that way? He's still not gonna run into any of these bananas, but I don't need him to, because we got another first place finish. Koopa, spinning around in celebration. Very cool. 45 points, let's get 15 more to make a total of 60. So it's the final course of 150cc Bowser's Castle. Definitely a bit nerve wracking. Let's see how it goes. We've been able to win everything up until here. What's stopping us from winning this one? As we blast away with our cheap, cheap car. Dry Bowser bumps into me a little bit. I don't get an item, but I think it's okay. Oh, right into the Koopa shell. That one like slowed down in a weird way. 
This is not good. Come on, watch out for the thwomps and everybody else. Okay, dude, move. Manners, learn some manners, Wario. Come on, how did I not get any of the, any of the items? Not a single one? Not the best start for sure, but ugh. Come on, get back up, Koopa. We got this, we're on 12th place now. But we have so much time to make some moves and catch up. As long as I can actually get an item and I don't get pushed off me, like, give me your mushroom. The blue shell's coming in too. I don't know what to do about that. This is just not turning out so well. Come on, come on. I'm dead last right now. This does not feel good. All right, drift through this and then really start boosting. We got a chance to catch up here. I don't wanna waste it. It didn't help too much, but the next item definitely will. Okay, really? I'm about to back up the, okay, that's maybe not a good idea. It's just every chance I get to catch up, something unavoidable happens. It's really, really weird, but uh, okay, okay, come on. What do I get this time? Bullet Bill, I would like to use it right now. Blasting through this little corridor. And I get another item, leading me into fourth. I'm going to steal this mushroom, bunch, bump into a bunch of uh, bushes. That's a tongue twister. Come on, come on. We are still pretty far behind Baby Mario and a couple of other racers, but there's a chance we can make this work. I need to, ah, oh, get an item, but DK being greedy hits two of them at once. Back to seventh place now. How did that even happen? I don't know why this one is suddenly so much more difficult than every other track. Just feels like free range for the heavyweights right now. They're the ones giving me every issue. I don't, I don't know, maybe this is just me. Watch out for the giant dry Bowser as if he needed to be any bigger than he already was. Got it, got it, got it. What do I get this time? A mushroom. I don't want to use it just yet because we can get a free one right there, which really didn't help. Ah, uh, come on. We are still so far behind here. I don't know if it's possible for me to catch up the baby Mario, but I'm certainly gonna try with that blue shell. Oh, okay, you found the lava. That gets me up to fifth. Baby Mario is hit, but he's so far ahead of me. I just never really got the chance to catch up. It's really weird, but. Okay, this is exactly what I mean. This might be enough that I have to replay through the whole cup, and how heartbreaking is that? Because I did so well on all the other tracks. I don't know, just sometimes Mario Kart just says not today, and this might be one of those moments. I'm in seventh place, can you stop, please? Okay, seventh place is dreadful. Our worst finish in the series so far, I think. We have 50 points, that's still enough to win, but if we don't get one star, I'm still gonna have to play it over. Mario Kart was really just like, oh, you thought you were finishing 150, did you? I guess not. <laughs> Come on. All right, let's see what we got. Still, it'll be fun to check out this victory celebration. They really thought they had me there. No, we still find a way to pull out in points. Baby Mario and Peach constantly giving us issues. I'm still so blown away by just how every single opportunity for things to go bad, it did. <laughs> like, there was no chance. All right, well, let's check out this podium victory and see for ourselves. Will we get the one star victory? Because there's three wins in a row, but I don't know if that's enough for one star. All right, what do we get? We get the golden trophy, which is always nice to see. The lightning cup first place. And it's a B, oh, not good at all. All right, well. I'll be back in 15 to 20 minutes to replay that cup, but it looks like it's giving us the same credits it did before. We've already seen them, so I'm not gonna worry about it right now. All right, um, sure, <laughs> doesn't really matter much. Let's go ahead back into that lightning cup in just a second. We'll still unlock a couple of things, I think. Yeah, you conquered all cups on 150 CC. Congratulations, you can now play in mirror mode. 
You won the Lightning Cup on 150cc. Congratulations, you've unlocked a large cart. Then the Honey Coop. Whoa. Is that it? Okay, it is. So let's go ahead and get that star rating. Oh man, I can't believe that happened. Hopefully this time it goes better. Okay, so it took a couple of tries, but this time I get the beautiful two star ranking. So with that done, it's gonna give me the credits again, I think, but we should be able to get something, right? I sure hope so. Let's see. Okay, I don't need another one of these. I've gotten like a dozen now. Um, here we go. You scored a star in the entire Retro Grand Prix on 150cc, and congratulations. You've unlocked the, a large cart, the Jet Setter. Very cool. Okay, so with that done, we have finally finished up 150cc, and we will start the Mirror Cups in the next episode of Mario Kart Wii. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.